Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy, where today I want to review three different laser cartridges for dry firing. Uh, hope for your dry firing, it's great practice. Uh, I find it actually kind of soothing, sitting around the house shooting lampshades and pictures on the wall. But uh, through the past year, I've collected three different laser cartridges from three different manufacturers, and I've had three very different experiences with them, and I thought I would share. Uh, I'll tell you right now, one of these kind of sucks and I wouldn't recommend it, but you can tell me in the comments if you strongly disagree. Uh, but here's what we have. We have the iTarget. Uh, this cartridge is actually in 10 millimeter. We have the Pink Rhino, which I think is also called or paired with the Mantis targeting system. This one's in 45 ACP. Uh, and my OG, the one that started it all for me, uh, this is a nine millimeter cartridge from Laser Ammo. That's the name of the company. Um, so again, I've had different experiences with all these and I wanna make sure I share with you because I think they're all available in different size cartridges. So this 45 ACP is also available in nine millimeter from Pink Rhino, et cetera, et cetera. First, very interesting thing I wanna point out is these two guys had very similar setups, same packaging. Uh, I got this one first and when it came, I had the cartridge here and three batteries. And I thought, great, I'll just install the batteries. Took this out and looked and there's already batteries in there. So I got extra batteries from the iTarget people. So thanks very much iTarget, good way to start. Uh, then a few weeks later, maybe a month later, I got my Pink Rhino uh, laser cartridge and it came like this with a laser cartridge here, three batteries. I thought, aha, I know there's batteries in here and I have extra batteries there. Turns out that's not the case. This one, I had to install the batteries. So I just thought that was very interesting. They have a very similar setup, but you get extra batteries with the iTarget. Um, and finally, uh, the laser ammo uh, cartridge, it came uh, with batteries already installed and it also takes three batteries. They all take three batteries, but this one uh, takes them pre, uh, they have to be pre-wrapped like this. They suggest that you only uh, use them pre-wrapped. They look to all be the same size battery, uh, but I've never tried to put the individual ones into this cartridge. I've always used the pre-wrapped versions. So let me take these plastic cases off. and kind of talk about each cartridge. Like one of these I've been disappointed with, the other I've shot to death, and one I think is the best value on the table. And I'll tell you what I think. And I don't always make decisions in my comparisons, but this time I'm gonna highly recommend one of these. So uh, I'll start with the laser ammo cartridge. I bought this actually with the targeting system from laser ammo, uh, and I've had a lot of fun shooting this. I've shot it actually to death. Uh, this end cap here wears out after a while, uh, this is my worn out end cap that I shot probably hundreds of thousands of rounds through and it finally just stopped working. Uh, and it's a known issue because that it just wears out over time. So you can buy just the back cap here, which is what I had done. Uh, so this cap probably only has a couple hundred rounds through or uh, dry fires onto it. Well, this one has hundreds of thousands of dry fires through it. So, um, the price on this guy is pretty pricey. He's the most expensive of all of them. Uh, he's a hundred bucks. Um, and that's, again, that's very pricey, but it has worked flawlessly until I wore out the back uh, cap. Uh, pretty, pretty consistent dot when I shoot it. I've uh, been very, very happy with it. It works great with the target system it came with. Uh, they also make this in infrared with that same target system, but uh, I'm, I use this one more than any of them. I've been super happy with the uh, laser ammo cartridge. Next, I got the iTarget in 10 millimeter. I want to have something to fire my 10 millimeter in, around the house in. Uh, and again, this guy came with two sets of batteries. And one thing I noticed right away on this guy is that when I shot it uh, at distance, I couldn't see the dot on the wall. Uh, the laser ammo, I could see uh, from 30 feet away. Uh, but this guy, I couldn't see hardly at all unless it was close up. The light was very, very, uh, laser was very, very dim on this one. Uh, and today, when I picked it up to film the video, it didn't work at all. So I had those extra batteries I mentioned. Putting your batteries in here, and now actually it doesn't work at all. Oh. Uh, this guy cost 60 bucks and I've been unhappy with it since I got it. I think there's something in the cap because if I take the cartridge, the cap off and just touch this, you can see the laser actually activates. But uh, if I fire at my gun and on these, you can actually activate it by pushing the button, nothing happens. So I think there's something in my cap here. And this guy does not have hundreds of thousands of rounds. This guy may have uh, 500 rounds through it. So if it has worn out, it wore out too fast for me. So I am actually not recommending iTarget because I had bad experience with that. You may have way different experience and feel free to sound off uh, in, the, in the message board and the comments below. 
And finally, I got this pink Rhino um, cartridge in 45 ACP. I didn't, again, didn't have a 45 um, laser cartridge. And this guy only costs 40 bucks. So like 100 bucks for the laser ammo, uh, like 60 bucks for iTarget. And I believe I just saw these on Amazon for 40 bucks. Um, and again, different calibers as well. And this one, again, you can activate it uh, with your finger back here. Uh, this one has probably, not that many rounds to it, probably a couple hundred. Uh, I'm sure this will wear out eventually as well. Uh, but this is probably, I think, the best value on the table because you can actually buy two, almost three of these for the price of one of these guys, and it works just as well. Um, so I've been really, really pleased with the Pink Rhino, Pink Rhino or Mantis. Uh, actually, I'd actually highly recommend either one. The laser ammo and the target kit there is really, really good. Uh, the Pink Rhino or Mantis uh, laser cartridge, I think, is a probably the best in value. It works great. And I've heard really good things about the Mantis targeting system as well. So I highly recommend both of these guys. I'm a little cold on the iTarget ammo. So again, if you guys have different opinions or different experiences, feel free to share. But I just want to share with you guys what I've learned with my laser cartridges. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, if you would, please like and subscribe.